Real entertainment delivered. First name Mr. Last name Red. But let's cut the chit chat. Welcome back to another weapons guide by me, Mr. Red. And then today I'm bringing you the full auto rifle. Let's cut straight to the chase. The full auto rifle is obviously modeled after the AK-47. If you ever look at a picture of it, it looks exactly like it, minus the the part that you hold the grip part. But anyway, that's just all simply aesthetics. The full auto rifle takes about 5 hits to the body, 2 to the head, which makes it pretty much identical to the 9mm pistol that you start off with, the default pistol. Not the revolver, but the other one of course. And the um, assault rifle that you purchase. But the main differences between the 9mm and the full and the assault rifle in this gun is, um, obviously this is a fully automatic weapon. So you just hold down the, the trigger and it continuously keep shooting. However, it does not have the same rate of fire as the assault rifle. You can call this the poor man's version of the assault rifle because it shoots slower than the other weapon does so it does not have as much stopping power as the assault rifle does. Now mind you, you do have two upgrade options just like all the other long weapons that there are. It's 400 for the first upgrade and then it's 800 for the second upgrade. Doing these upgrades increases the stability of the weapon, includes the cr increases the clip size, um, increases accuracy from the hip, etc, etc. But be quite honest with you, other than increasing the clip size, the other variants really don't matter too much. Now this weapon is not intended to be a weapon to instantly down people. It's not going to be able to do that. There's plenty of other guns to use over this gun. The 9mm pistol, is, in my opinion, is actually better than this gun because you can shoot faster because you can actually shoot people depending on how fast you can click on the trigger versus relying on the gun to do all the handiwork for you. This gun is more like a suppressing weapon, as in you're with someone and the whole goal of this gun when you use it is to make the enemy flinch. When you're shooting someone and they're not able to shoot back or they're shooting rapidly, that's the flinch effect I'm speaking of. One on one engagements, you're probably going to lose. You're not going to win these engagements. It's quite honestly, the semi auto and the burst rifle completely destroy this weapon. Completely. You will not win a battle with that. You know, even versus the revolver, you'll lose. And it does not win very. It does not win a lot of engagements. Sorry to say. I mean, it's no particular reason why you would pick this weapon over another weapon in terms of stopping ground. And as a matter of fact, I probably wouldn't use it in other cases or other weapons as well, just because of that fact. But it does get the job done if you're very good at getting headshots. Two headshots is all you need to down someone. However, I was struggling during the portion of getting these clips of getting those good amount of headshots and quite often I get one headshot and then it would take about three shots to the body and then they would get down. Now when you're in a down state it's even worse because you need the four shots to the body to down someone and you need two to the head still regardless in a down state so if you do want to use this weapon I do recommend that you at least have a revolver as your secondary just to finish off down opponents. Uh, another down thing about this it doesn't have an option for a silence. It's always loud. It's always going to be loud. So you have no other option but to be loud with this weapon. However, if you're going to go loud, then there's ways to complement your abilities for say. If you know you're going to be loud, then you just change your play style to be loud. It's just simple. You're not going to go running covert training too with this um, gun. You're going to be running, you know, melee, brawler rather. You're going to be running the, the perks that you know you're going to get up close and personal with people because you, you want to fully take advantage of the weapon. Now overall just to give it a rating uh, I'm just giving this rating based upon the other weapons in the same category honestly I'd have to give it a 2 out of 5 and really that extra one point is just simply because of suppression. Now, mind you, the last guy I did for the uh, semi-auto rifle, I gave 4 out of 5. The reason why I give this one 2 out of 5, just the cliff note version is, it's slow to kill someone, doesn't have very good stopping power. It's good perk that it has is just suppressing fire. And honestly, in a game like this, suppressing fire is not really something that you want to focus on. You're more thinking about the stopping power. You're more thinking about getting the kills in quick and escaping before enemies come in. There's no option to suppress the weapon so you're always going to go loud in this game. And last but not least, there's just other guns with stronger stopping power like the semi-auto has quicker stopping power and you just use your own trigger. The 9mm pistol has better stopping power. So unless you're looking for a challenge, I would just avoid this gun. Otherwise, just choose something else entirely. Anyway, this is your boy Mr. Red signing out. Hope this guy proved well for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I do ask that you guys didn't enjoy it, that you go ahead and share with your friends. Let me guys know what you guys think of this review, if you think it's accurate or true, or if it helped you out any. This is your boy Mr. Red signing out. Hope you guys take care and enjoy.
Peace.